Welcome. Today is about living full out. I'm Paul Sheely. I'm delighted to spend the day with you today. You have superpowers beyond your wildest imaginations. And when you get access to those, those talents, those gifts that reside within you, you can create your life the way you truly desire to live it. The skills that we're going to work on today is number one, you're going to gain access to those inner gifts, resources, and talents. And number two, you're going to be able to apply those gifts and talents to create the life that you desire. Well, right now, you're either living your life full out, your dream life, living resourcefully, or you're separated from the abundant resources that are within you, that really are available to all of us, and living in what I call a gap, a gap of limitations. Now, if you believe that there is more in life for you to experience, then right there you're in a dilemma because you know that there are more resources available, but you aren't experiencing them. That dilemma is the dilemma that we're going to be working on today. As best as you can, try to find, as we're going through our day together, any gaps or limitations that you may have fallen into. Be honest with yourself. It's okay to be vulnerable around this. The more honest you are, the more benefit you're going to receive. Have a notepad with you. Write down any time a little side band of information comes in that says, ooh, that's me, make a note of it because we're going to be able to work on it and have an immediate shift for you. Secondly, any dilemma that exists, you can resolve when you make a choice to find those inner resources that you need. I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So when you also know, well, what is a resource? What is a capacity, a, a talent, a skill, a bit of knowledge that I need to have a breakthrough around here? If I could only have access to it, what, it would, what would it be? Make a note of that resource that you think you need. It's okay that you don't even believe that those resources are available to you. Resolving that dilemma, that dilemma of the gap between what you truly want and the resources you think you have available to you, that's what transformation is all about. I got a PhD studying the subject and have spent more than 40 years exploring it. We're going to be able to get you there. Again, there's going to be two major skills that we're going to be working on today together. Number one is gaining access to those internal gifts talents and resources that are within you. And number two is going to be to apply those resources to achieving what you truly desire to produce the life that you're ready to live. So let's talk about some of the basic principles. Number one is about what you have and who you really are. You have a body. You have emotions and feelings and you have a mind, but you are not those. You are more than those. All of those are actually under the direction of who you really are. So continuing in this idea of some of the basic principles, you might wonder if I keep claiming that we're so tremendously resourceful, how come I don't have everything that I want right now? Where did I get off track? Well, keep in mind that when you're born into the world, you're born utterly helpless. You have no ability to take care of yourself. You can't feed yourself, clothe yourself, bathe yourself, clean yourself, nothing. I mean, you're absolutely relying on external sources to make sure that you survive. Well, every culture, every family system has a set of limiting beliefs, and we simply accept those beliefs about who we are. Are you powerful? Probably you've come to believe that you're less magnificent than you really are. I mean, think about it in school. How many of your teachers said, you know, you have a very powerful, phenomenal non-conscious resource, and you can apply this to accelerate your learning to ace every test that you take, to feel great about yourself, and to actually have magnificent relationships, overcome any problem you face. 
probably not too many of your teachers <laughs> went through that with you. Certainly not before a math test or an important exam, right? Nobody said, okay, we're all going to close our eyes now, become relaxed and alert and get access to those further resources of your non-conscious mind to accomplish what you really desire. I mean, it just didn't happen, right? So we're raised with a set of limiting beliefs about who we are. And as we develop, basically we acquire what I would call the three big fears. The fears that I'm unworthy, I'm insufficient somehow, I'm not enough. The second big fear, if I screw up, I'll be alone, I'll be unloved. And the third big fear, I'm unsafe. Not only am I unsafe and can be harmed, but I can't really trust others to support me or give me what I need to make sure that I'm safe. So with those three big fears going forward, we're always going to be looking outside of ourselves for the validation of our worthiness, for the love that we need to fill our emptiness and the security that, that the world can provide to make sure that these feelings of anxiety aren't going to take over. So what ends up happening is by looking to the world outside of us instead of to that place where our abundance and our resources are, we really confirm insufficiencies instead of abundance. And we begin to consume the world to try to fill a void that we believe is within us that we can't seem to get filled. So we turn to things like addictions of every kind. We don't turn to that real power and presence that we are. So there's good news. The really good news, and you're going to hear me embodying this and talking to you about it the entire time, is that when we're born into the world, we don't come in as an empty barrel. We actually come in filled. The real original definition of education comes from the Greek educare, or Latin, and, and that's about drawing the resources from within outward. In other words, education is bringing it forth instead of stuffing it in, which is how learning may have seemed up until now. The other good news is you're filled with abundant capabilities. And these capabilities may be lurking just behind a fear that you have that you have never really encountered before. And finally, you can use these capabilities and these abundant resources to produce literally miraculous results. And the stories that we have of people having found the power of their non-conscious mind go on and on and on, could fill volumes. If all we did was tell stories about the fabulous results that people have been able to create, miraculous results, it would be easy to do today. This really is about you. And so I'm going to show you how you can gain access to those abundant internal resources and really apply that magnificence to creating amazing results in your life. All right, so in a moment, we're going to get started with part one, our first topic, and that's abundance and money. This is directly applicable for what you're attempting to create in your life, not only personally, but also professionally. It's going to have an impact on your work life as well as your personal life. So we're going to take a brief break right now. We're going to check in with Pete to see if there's anything else we ought to know about how the day is going to be structured. Make sure you know exactly how things are going to proceed. And then I'll also check in with Wendy to see if there are any questions that might help to get some clarity on things. So see you in just a few minutes. 